five minutes from touchdown. Uh, views of Discovery now as it approaches the Kennedy Space Center from the uh, southwest. Altitude 55,000 feet, range to the landing site 68 miles. Or 32 miles. At altitude uh, again down to almost 50,000 feet. The sink rate is about 260 feet per second. Archambault now flying Discovery. Approaching the uh, imaginary heading alignment cone or cylinder as he begins a 260 degree uh, turn. Twin sonic booms uh, announcing Discovery's arrival in the landing site. Antonelli, the pilot of the vehicle, now taking his turn for a few seconds, uh, flying Discovery around the heading alignment circle. Discovery on at the 180. Discovery copies on at the 180. Tony Antonelli now handing the stick back to Commander Lee Archambault, who now has uh, control of Discovery for the remainder of the flight. Discovery on at the 90. Uh, 19,000 feet in altitude, uh, range 11 miles from the uh, runway. Discovery's uh, velocity is down to 400 miles per hour. Discovery is on and on. Runway's in sight. Discovery copy, one way in sight. About one minute to touchdown. Altitude uh, 5,800 feet. Commander Lee Archambault beginning to uh, flare the nose of Discovery up for final approach and landing. And landing gear is down. Touchdown. And nose gear touchdown. Space Shuttle Discovery is rolling out on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, completing 201 orbits, 202 orbits of the Earth, while traveling 5,304,000 miles. 
This landing marks the 70th shuttle mission to end at KSC. Discovery spent eight days docked to the International Space Station, leaving behind the first Japanese long-duration crew member and also leaving it more power capability, setting the stage for an increase to six-person crew in late May. Sandy Magnus, mission specialist, now aboard Discovery home after 134 days in space, 129 of those aboard the International Space Station. Discovery is completing the 36th voyage of its uh, life and the 125th 125th Space Shuttle mission in the history of the program.